Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome to the Chaplain Circle. I am Chaplain White, your host, and I am here to give you guys another video. And I want to encourage you to keep your mind on things that are above and not and forget about that stuff that's beneath, beneath you. You can be in prison. You can be in the hospital. You can be you can be in a small room surrounded by buzzards. But if you will allow yourself to go higher, that's where your freedom is. That's where your peace is. That's where your joy is. That's where your victory is. I tell, I'm an educator. I can teach a dead horse how to get up and win a race. Not just get up and run, but get up and win because that's what we do. We don't lose. We don't lose. We win. We congratulate. Okay? If I tell kids that I teach, don't ever look up to someone who should be looking up to you. Don't ever look up to someone who should be looking up to you. That is the greatest mistake some people be making because you greatness, you just don't know it yet. You are greatness, you just don't know it yet. Don't ever look up to somebody who should be looking up to you. You living right. You've got the right heart, the right motive, the right intention. But they're over here driving a Cadillac. Don't you know devils got stuff too? Devils got stuff too. Devils got stuff too. And that don't mean nothing. Yours is coming. Yours is coming. Don't you ever look up to somebody who should be looking up to you. Because you might be small on the outside, but you big on the inside. I love me some kids. I love me some kids because they, they're, they're palatable. You, you know, you can work with them. They'll listen and they, they will apply. They will adjust. They're not like old people. Mm. Got my water in my cup. Listen, Colossians. Colossians turn to for everything we go through. God then gave us a scripture. He say, set your mind on things above, not on things on earth. Boom. That's scripture. That's scripture. That's the scripture. <laughs> That's the word. What's above? What is above? The moon, the stars, the sun, the heavens. Eagles, giraffes, they are above. Eagles don't mess around with chickens. So what are you doing? What are you doing? So why are you around buzzards? We about to get some chickens for real. But anyways, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. And then you think about what's below. Earth, dirt, mud, chicken. I'm just saying, y'all. Look, I made some notes on my thoughts this time. And and look, this is my thought. I said, they'll be mad because they can't sit with you. But they cancel themselves out. There's another table being prepared for them. You won't, con you won't confide or combine with them. They will cut off because their thinking was too low. Quality conversations feedback, literature, growth, relationship, love, rising to the top. Thoughts like that were, were too much to ask for. They were lacking. Don't try and fix it up now either. You know what I'm saying? When, 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 when people have been wicked for so long, you've been doing the same thing for so long. It's like an 18-wheeler going down here. <laughs> like that, right? Don't try and fix it now. Don't try and fix it now. Some of y'all is too late. It ain't too late as long as you're breathing. But what I'm saying is, God already has you on his little tablet. And he's coming to give you a visit. I'm going to talk to you about that in a minute. And the battle is already won. It's time to go high. Because you've already, you know what I'm saying? You had this struggle. You had this battle. You you won the battle. And there are signs. Just like I told y'all, when there is warfare, right? Like you get to a place and there's warfare. 
Okay, you know you're in the right place, right? David and Goliath. Goliath wasn't cheering for David. De Goliath was, um, he felt belittled. <laughs> who, ooh, who is this? Goliath felt like he was high-minded. Keep everything high but your pride. <laughs> Don't be prideful. Be humble. But you can still be bad tail being humble. Okay? Being humble don't mean be timid. Okay? It don't mean be all sweet. It's don't, it doesn't mean be a pushover. Okay? That's not what that means. But but David, when he, when he got everybody, everybody else, all the all them prideful ones, you know what I'm saying? Everybody who had the, the wisdom and the experience and stuff. They wouldn't talk and jump when, when David got there. They were afraid. They were afraid of, of Goliath. And Goliath's puffed up attitude and his size didn't make it any better. They were afraid. But when David got there, he had all, he had been out in the field while they was hanging out together, probably drinking, you know what I'm saying, partying in the club, you know what I'm saying, plotting and stuff against against people. Honey, when there's a lot of people coming up against you, one of you, just yourself. When it, when there's a gang cup against just you, that's what lets you know you, you, you're anointed. It takes all of them. But the Bible talks about that. Though they, they will surely gather together against you, but not by me. Okay? Get yourself together. It takes all of them. To come up against you. All of them. On the Lord's side. But they were afraid. To go up against their, their one enemy. Goliath. David came up by himself. Because he was out in the field. Being prepared. That process we talked about yesterday. He wasn't afraid. Because he knew what. David said I don't lose. <laughs> Show me where it's at. Just like uh, Samson. He was like. he To, to, the, to the young lady. He, 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 he said. Show me where the pillars are. He killed more Philistines in his death than at any other point in his ministry. Who? Who? Afraid of what? We don't lose. We don't lose. So when you get there and there's confrontation, you know you're in the right place. That's what that is. That's what that means. And then after some time, you know when everything done calmed down, that means you done whooped them. You got the victory. But there's levels to this thing. There is more to see, more to hear, more to understand, more to know, more to walk in. So you got to let that dead stuff stay stay dead. And you got to rise to the occasion and let the Lord take you higher and higher and higher. Honey, because wherever you wherever you are, that's not all God has for you. God go hit Add and add and add and push them. My cup running over. Add and add and add and push them and add and add. God's trying to give because He's He. God wants to bless you because blessing you, He knows you're not going to take the, the the credit. He knows that He can put you in charge and you're not going to try and lord over His people. You are not going to lord over His people. It takes some wicked folk. The minute they get their tiptoe in some power, power, money. Sex authority. You can't give that stuff to wicked people. Remember? Remember the, the uh, Hebrew people? Remember how they was in bondage? Baby, same thing, honey. God don't change and ain't nothing new under the sun. Get yourself together. But anyways, let's see. And it's okay that some people will try and hang on to you. Like, that's what they're going to do. Nobody wants to be left behind. And they're not fighting against you because they don't believe in you. They're, are you get yourself, get yourself together. Get yourself together. They're holding on to you because, especially family, you know what I'm saying? People have known you uh, for any amount of time. They know. Even when, even when we've had, I've had, they say, um, what's that song they used to sing back in the day? I'm, I'm coming up. The rough side of the mountain. And you know, some people got a problem with that song. But mind your business because some of us have had to come up a mountain. Baby, I have a mountaintop life. I have come up 
a few hard mountains, honey. Some was my fault and some was just ordained. But when I tell you, honey, God will make it up to you, baby. Let me tell you, I need a drink of water. Hold up. Hold up. Be right back. I'll be right back. Hold up. Mm. Baby, be encouraged because God will make it up to you. God literally takes me to places and he gives me mountaintop experiences just like he did with Moses. Pay attention to your life. We talked about patterns yesterday. Pay attention to the patterns in your own life. Why them people trying to get your attention? I told you it's a distraction. If you if you turn, it's messy. If you turn, it's going to keep you longer than you want to stay. It's going to cost you more than you want to pay. Ignore it. Ignore those distractions and keep your mind on what? Things above. Keep your mind on God. Keep your mind on where you're going. You know what I'm saying? It's like driving a car. Thank you, Lord. Who Jesus. It's like driving a car. You can't drive your car looking back. You got to, you got to hold the wheel and you got to look. Because see, it's danger in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever's behind you, you leaving that in the in your smoke. You know what I'm saying? But you got to look like this. You got to, right driving the car. Stay focused, right? Because God, honey, it's 2024 and God's blessing. You can't be missing your blessing, following, or see you got leaders and you got followers. And I think it's kind of easy to distinguish the two. People, leaders are gonna lead. Lead if you can't make up your mind what you're gonna eat, you ain't gonna work with. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you something to eat. You can't make up your, in your mind what you're going to put on here. Wear these, wear these yellow shoes, right? If you don't know what you're going to do with your money, give it to me, okay? Because I got stuff I can take care of. Okay, what I'm saying? Like, and followers are sometimes, they, you know what I'm saying? Bless their hearts. They, they're followers. they followers. You can't be mad at followers. Everybody got, a, everybody got a purpose. You got leaders and you got followers. And I forgot what my thought was. But you you get it. It's leaders and it's followers. But you ain't got time for all of that. You a leader. You got to go somewhere. You on your way somewhere. And you got people following you. Okay? So if you don't get what you want, imagine if Moses had went on the side of the desert, kicked his feet up, and he's sitting back, drinking water in one hand, eating watermelon on the other one. He didn't have time for that. He was a leader. And he had places to go. And he was pulling the wagon of people behind him. So you don't have time for nothing. And they've already been cut off. But don't think it's strange when they're trying to hold on. They already know that you are a winner. They already know that you are the winning ticket. And they want to go with you. They really want to partner with you. They just do all the wrong things trying to, trying to connect. And some people don't know how to love because they've never been properly loved. And some people don't know how to act just because they don't want to know how to act. Some people just don't have no sense. But that's neither here nor there. Leaders, you got somewhere to go. So get get on up the road. Okay? You got to get on up the road. And don't ever look up to somebody who should be looking up to you. And, 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 and forget the little chickens and the buzzards and the worms. You know what I'm saying? All the little stuff on the ground that can't go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? The little bugs, the little ladybugs, the little spiders, the granddaddies, all that kind of stuff. Don't don't bother that. You you got wings, and you got promises, and keep your faith intact and rise above. It's my communion. It's my communion. I I lift it up to the Lord. On Lord, let me tell you something. I ain't got to do no whole bunch of talking with you, Lord. I'm not worthy. In you, I'm worthy. Because of you, I'm worthy. Forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for all my mess. And you know them one by one. I don't claim to be perfect or sinless. If I said that, I'd be lying to myself and to you. But God, I know what you've done for me. And I thank you. And I do this because you you all I got. And I do this in remembrance of you until you come. Thank you for your sacrifices. Baby, just be me and my little communion cup and my daddy Bible. Look, I be buying my own business. I don't know why people be bothering me. Yes, I do. People be bothering God, okay? I'm just, I'm God in the flesh. Ooh, that was good. God in the flesh.
Mm. Watch this. Yesterday I talked about messy people. Messy people. And I'm about to wrap up. Because, because I didn't see it when I didn't see it. Some of y'all think that it's the church people bothering you. But it's them witches and it's them warlocks in your family that's praying up against you. You've got to be in prayer. Keep praying. You can't never stop praying because you have enemies. Get yourself together. Oh, I don't bother nobody. I'm so nice. I'm so sweet. I mean, mind my business. But are you a believer? Are you a believer in Jesus Christ? If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, you have enemies. Why? Because he does. He did. He does. He will. He told us that. That's how it is. That's how it's always going to be. So you got to pray. Put your whole armor on so all that foolishness they send into you, boomerangs back to them. Boomerang. Boomerang. Look, time out. We're not timid. And I ain't playing with, with, with my enemies. I remember back in 1995, 1996, 1997, um, somebody, I heard somebody say, knock, knock their teeth out. Talking about their enemy, knock their teeth out. And I was like, <laughs> Dang, that was that's kind of harsh, baby. Once you must mature in the Lord, if you got the nerve to know that I am a child of God, and you have the nerve to come after me, to bother me, to 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 bother me, to disrespect me, to gossip about me, to belittle me, you know what I'm saying? To hurt me, to harm me, my children. You deserve the smoke. And I'm not going to be kind to you. I'm not kind to the devil. When I was in Texas, I remember the chief of police, he told me, he said, we don't have to be nice to the bad guy. And I, that's what I did. Because I always get to pause, right? I pause and I dip it through the Holy Ghost and then I let it come back up, right? So I'm like, oh, we don't have to be nice to the bad guy. And I had to sit on it for years. I had to sit on it because I was like, mm -hmm. you know, but yeah. I am not nice to my enemies. As a matter of fact, I woke up this morning. <clears throat> I woke up this morning. So funny how my my voice is fine. Let me, wait, let me go connect with my dogs and watch my voice be fine. Let me go hoop and holler with a show and watch it be fine. Now, if I were doing something dumb, it'd be fine. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, I woke up this morning praying, for, praying over my enemies. You thought you was going to mess with me. You thought you think I'm nice. You think I'm sweet, and I am, but not for you. Not about you. Not about you. And you would think, you know what I'm saying? Some people have a hard enough time in life. But they just they like Pharaoh. They just don't learn. They ignorant. They are truly ignorant. Just stupid. You know what I'm saying? They just stupid. You, you won't leave well enough alone. Somebody being nice to you. You know what I'm saying? And you putting poop through my pie. You know what I'm saying? I said, Lord, you know what I'm saying? Just, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of eating in restaurants. I'm just, I'm, I, I don't want nobody messing with my food. I don't want no food that's not locked up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no buffet. Everybody hands been through it. I'm just... I'm going higher in the Lord, y'all. That's what it is. I'm going higher. I'm taking my expectations higher. I'm taking my standards higher. I'm just going higher. And a part of my higher is I was praying all kinds of smoke on my enemies. Take their teeth out. I don't care what you do with them. I don't care what you do with them. But put enough smoke in their life to where they forget about me. And sometimes you think you look at somebody that you don't like and you see them blessing, you be you have a problem with it. But baby, I wouldn't care what dropped in their life. As long leave me alone. But I'm talking about praying smoke on my enemy. Since you thought it was funny, right? Since you thought it was funny to run somebody's name through the mud when they ain't done nothing to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now they about to run your name through the mud. They already running your name through the mud, but now you're going to find out about it. How about that? I woke up praying over my enemies. And I usually say the Lord's enemy because I ain't said to nobody. Because I ain't done it to nobody. But no. I'm, no I'm, and this is, I'm going to take it personal. Since people plan. I have enemies. Mm-hmm. 
And I put Nahum 1 on your hips. I put Psalm 91 on your hips. Psalm 23 on your hips. Isaiah on your hips. Since you want to play, since you don't have nothing productive to do in your silly little life. Oh, you can look for that. Because, honey, I done sent it out. Your witches and your warlocks. That's what you need to do. You need to be praying over your enemies. Stop smiling with them buzzards. Stop smiling with them buzzards. Every time, oh, God is love. I'm heavy. I have a heavy love walk. If you know me, you know. I'm for real about love. God expects me to love, but he also expects me to fight. And I, and I know that I win. I don't lose afraid of what. But yeah, pray over that mess that's popping up in your life. Don't accept it. Somebody always saying something sideways out your mouth. Don't accept that mess. Knock their teeth out of their mouth. Since they, since they like to run around in, in ditches, I knock you in one today. Beep, beep. You know what I'm saying? Remember that show, Road Runner? Beep, beep. That baby was moving so fast, you could hardly see. What was that anyway? It must have been an ostrich. I'm going to find out. Beep, beep. That thing be looking like a rabbit, but there ain't no rabbit. I don't like ostriches. When I was young, one chased me to death in my sleep. I can't stand a bird. Ostrich. Anyways, but that's about it today. I just want to encourage you to think on things above. Because you're great. And that's where you are. You're sitting in heavenly places with Christ. That's where you're sitting at. You're sitting in heavenly places with Christ. You are seated in heavenly places with Christ. Don't even, don't sweat the small stuff. Grab a hold of him. And go. Go, go soar. You know, imagine that, that eagle. How they just up there. You know what I'm saying? Just... Just go up there and see what he has for you. Because, baby, that's where I'm at. Okay? I, my mind is on things above. Because anything beneath, the stuff that can't get up, the worms, the frogs, the turtles, the little cute little bunnies, mm, I don't have time for it. I'm progressive. Okay? I'm trying to see what the end going to be. Okay? I'm trying to make a difference in my legacy. I got five kids. I ain't got to hide nothing. I ain't got to conceal their locations, or their actions. I've got five kids. God has his hand on my children. He's protecting my children. He loves my children. And he's honored me in caring and seeing about my children. He's watching over your children. And I hope you're praying for your children. I hope you live in something that your children can duplicate. I hope you're living something that your children will reap from. I hope you're, you're living something that when you're gone, it's going to stay in the, land, in the land. But listen, we ain't got to leave here to have no impact. Okay, I claim 120. I ain't going nowhere. I, I ain't going nowhere until, until the Lord comes back because I'm special. Okay, and as a man thinketh, so is he. So whatever you're thinking, that's what you're thinking, but I'm trying to give you another thought. Live something that your children can see, something your children can hold on to, something your children can, can be proud of, something that your children can, can honor. Your children should honor you. They should be thankful because they see, they understand spiritually and tangibly the blessing of you being in their lives. Come on now. Come on now. I talk about my daddy all the time because I'm thankful. I am so thankful to God for him. Nobody else in my life had sense. Nobody else around me had any sense. I am my dad. Call me Junior, okay? Call me Junior. I'm gonna get some t-shirts made. I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some content. Okay, and I need y'all to support my content. Purchase it, okay? Purchase it. I wanna, I wanna um invest in my my broadcast. I want to bring you guys some wonderful content. I'm looking at purchasing some chickens. I'm looking at doing something different for my dogs. All of that stuff. And I'm going to fill you all in so we won't always be in the studio, okay? But thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your support. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for trusting in me. Thank you for praying for me. Um, I don't want to do anything without God. I don't want to broadcast without the Lord. So Holy Spirit, you know you're welcome in this place. And I pray I've said something, done something that brings you glory and that will impact someone's life for their greater good and for your glory. 
please like the video. Please leave a comment or two. Um, subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn your notifications on. Because when you turn your notifications on, YouTube is going to inform you of new content just like this. I'm going to drop this in a few. And you're going to know all about it because you turned your notifications on for the chaplain's circle. And remember, just one second. Okay, <clears throat> thank you. And remember... <clears throat> The notification is just a personal invitation from me, is that water, from me to you to come. Come on over here with the with a remnant. Shh. We're, we're the remnant. We are the ones who have not bent a knee to Bill and we have not kissed him. Come on over to the chaplain circle and join in on the conversation. I appreciate you. God sent me here and you're not here without purpose. So again, I love you and I appreciate you. And I will see you soon. And remember, keep your mind on things that are above. Find out what else God has to say to you, to reveal to you, but to allow you to see, to know, to touch, to be filled with. There's something on me. Is that, look, that, you see that light? I see everything. I'm like, oh, Lord. Listen. Keep your mind on things above. Like rain from heaven. Like manna from heaven. There's some good things going on up there. Up there. We live down here. But keep your mind on things that are above. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow. If God says the same. God bless you.